How do plants make their food? Hello kids! Have you ever thought, how do plants get their food? They don't go to the market, they don't have mothers cooking for them. Instead, plants cook their own food in their leaves. Yes, leaves are the kitchen of the plant. Now let's meet the chef. Inside every green leaf, there is a green pigment called chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is like the chef in the leaf kitchen. Its special job is to trap sunlight and use it for cooking food. Next, let's collect the ingredients. The chlorophyll chef cannot cook alone. The leaf kitchen needs ingredients. 1. Sunlight 2. Water 3. Water absorbed by the roots from the soil. The water travels up through thin tubes called veins. Veins carry water and minerals to the leaves. 3. Carbon dioxide Carbon dioxide, a gas from the air which enters the leaf through tiny holes called stomata. Now let's look at the cooking process. Photosynthesis. The kitchen is ready, the chef is ready, and the ingredients are here. So, what happens next? The chlorophyll chef uses the power of sunlight. It mixes carbon dioxide from the air with water from the soil. This cooking makes food for the plant. A sugar called glucose. This wonderful cooking process is called photosynthesis. Finally, let's see the bonus gift. While preparing food, the leaf also gives out oxygen through the stomata. We humans and animals need this oxygen to breathe. And what about the extra food? Plants can store it in leaves, stems, roots, fruits and seeds in the form of starch. Let's connect the ideas together. Sunlight is trapped in the leaf. Roots absorb water from the soil. Leaves take in carbon dioxide from the air. Then sunlight, water and carbon dioxide mix together inside the leaf. The plant makes sugar called glucose which is its food. At the same time, oxygen is released into the air. This whole process is called photosynthesis. And now, it's time for a little fun. Let's play a quick quiz game to check how much you remember. I'll ask some questions, and you try to answer before the time runs out. Are you ready? Let's go. Question 1. What is the name of the green pigment? The chef in the leaf kitchen. Answer. Chlorophyll. Great job, you remembered the little green chef. Question 2. What are the ingredients needed for photosynthesis?
Answer, sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide. Well done, you got all the cooking items. Question three, which tiny holes in the leaf let carbon dioxide enter and oxygen go out? Answer, stomata. Perfect, those are the leaf's little doors. Question four. What are the thin tubes called that carry water and minerals to the leaves? Answer, veins. Amazing, you're learning just like a scientist. Do you know inside? These veins are tiny tubes. One is called xylem. It carries water and minerals up to the leaves. And another is called phloem. It carries food to the whole plant. So next time, you can even say xylem and phloem like a real scientist. Question 5. What is the food made by plants called? Answer, glucose. Brilliant, that's the sweet food plants make. Question six, in what form can plants store extra food? Answer, starch. Fantastic, you nailed it again. Question 7. What is the name of the whole cooking process in leaves? Answer. Photosynthesis. Excellent. You remembered the magic word. Question 8. Which gas is released during photosynthesis. Answer. Oxygen. O2. Superb. You got the fresh air maker right. Hooray! You did amazing in this quiz. Plants give us food, sugar glucose, and fresh oxygen too. Keep learning, keep growing, and keep breathing fresh with knowledge. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to EduTots21 for more fun learning. Hope you liked the video. Like, share, and subscribe.